Good morning, folks. We're going to be discussing space weather, including the peak of the geomagnetic storm that began yesterday morning. We'll see a story on volcanoes, and then there's two space weather health stories you you just aren't going to want to miss. But we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find that we had no big eruptive events. The coronal hole is turning away on the north, and its solar wind should arrive early this coming week. There remain several sunspot groups and plasma filaments we're watching for eruptions, but how about the geomagnetic storm we described beginning yesterday morning? Solar wind is finally beginning to die down from that previous impact. We had a speed peak about three hours after yesterday morning's show, and the geomagnetic storm rose to level two at its peak just afterwards. Still more than I thought we'd get from such a modest stream, but then again, Earth's magnetic field is weakening. The peak was short-lived, and Earth's magnetic field is recovering a bit here this morning. First up in the articles today is a good one on the cumulative impact of small to moderate volcanic activity. Turns out that while a major VEI 7 or 8 eruption can obviously change the global temperature, so can lots and lots of smaller ones. How many? About four to five times as many as we have right now, with them being a bit stronger than the ones that have gone off recently as well. As many of you know, I am constantly looking for ways to get people interested in the topic of Earth's weakening magnetic field and the magnetic pole shift bet this will do it. Turns out extra exposure to cosmic rays can contribute to erectile dysfunction. Yes, with the weakening of our planetary magnetosphere, more cosmic rays are entering the Earth system. Time to strengthen that body energy field, bruv. And last but not least, not nearly as giggly, but probably more important, we've seen over a hundred studies on the impact of solar activity and geomagnetic storms on the cardiac system, and this one notes that the more your body is used to heart rate variability, the better it will handle the impact of those solar storms. In case any of you are wondering, yes, that means get your heart rate up. Cardio, weightlifting, even brisk walks and sex are all going to be good on that front. Greatly appreciate your support. Bit of a weird show today but I liked it. Check out your resource links below the video in the description box. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.